This is elderberry syrup. Diana Frazier makes it in her Paulsbo kitchen. This is them in a jar. They're like these little teeny, tiny, tiny berries. Um, so these are dried berries, but like they're so tiny. <laughs> Ever since the COVID-19 crisis broke out in Washington, these bottles have been selling out at $24 a piece as fast as she can make them. Around March 11th, maybe a little bit earlier, I, I restocked the site at night. I woke up in the morning, everything was sold. She started making this folk remedy five years ago for her family. When friends started asking for her syrup, Diana started Paulsbo Elderberry in 2018. Elderberries are believed to support immunity. Studies support the claim. It is antiviral, and there's studies, which if you, it's just a quick Google search and you can find not random blogs, but actual studies that show that it is known to reduce the length and severity of the symptoms of influenza. She had no idea a brand new virus would create demand for her old fashioned concoction. And despite the fact she can't make it fast enough, she also makes it clear that this purple syrup is not a COVID cure. I've gotten a lot of messages and some emails and calls saying, will this help me? And the thing is like, we don't know. There's no, it would be so irresponsible for me to say that it can. Thanks, Angela. The science around that is eh, very shaky, but the elderberries are delicious. The ones they get are from Europe, and if you would like to find where that syrup is being sold, just go to our website, king5evening.com.